From MacBooks and iPhones to Apple Watches, Apple churns out some of the best gadgets we see hit the shelves. So it doesn't shock us to hear that the next big item that may be coming from Apple will be the Apple Glasses. We'll be discussing the rumors surrounding this project in today's video. Let's get started. So first things first, a lot of what we'll be going over today are just rumors and theories that have spread over the internet. Some of it may be based in reality and some not. Either way, take everything with a grain of salt, as we don't know the facts until Apple themselves come forth and tells us. That being said, let's dive in. We'll be referring to the product as Apple Glasses, because the speculated name has yet to be confirmed. But there are many on the internet who believe that Apple would officially name this product Glass OS, which is a play on Apple's famous OS, or operating systems and the word glasses. Obviously, because not much has been released about this product, we most likely will have to wait a few years until the Apple glasses become available. The reason for this is because we believe that the Apple VR headset will be released first, and that Apple is turning all their time and energy into that product, to enter themselves into the ever-growing VR AR industry. But this doesn't mean that Apple glasses won't include VR AR. In fact, we believe that there's a large possibility that they will. Why do we think this? Well, for a few reasons. One, there have been trademarks spotted that have linked back with Apple for Reality One and Reality Pro. Could this be a part of Apple securing rights to their new virtual reality software? Perhaps not for the glasses, but for the VR headset. Even so, it would make sense for them to implement this VR software onto both devices. But what truly is the big difference between these two devices? What makes Apple glasses different from the Apple VR headset? Well, for starters, the Apple glasses are rumored to be much more complex than the VR headset. Early prototypes of Apple's VR headsets are being compared to the Oculus Rift and other pre-existing virtual reality devices. Although Apple's headset will come with a high-resolution screen and cinematic-style sound, you have to admit that they're fairly late to the VR game. However, if you're a die-hard Apple fan, you'll still want to check out this headset. It's rumored to be released sometime in mid-2023, so keep your eyes peeled. Back to the glasses, what makes them so special? What exactly can these glasses do? Well, unlike the headset, these glasses mimic the style of traditional eyewear, which means they can be worn all day long, any place, any time. Essentially, these glasses will upload information from your phone directly to your glasses, so no need to constantly be checking your mobile device as incoming texts and other notifications will appear right before your eyes. But here's the part of the Apple glasses that have minds blown. You won't need a prescription to use them. Unlike traditional eyewear that requires visits to the optometrist and a customized prescription, the Apple glasses will have a built-in software that analyzes the user's vision needs and adjusts accordingly. This could change not only the tech industry, but the optometry industry as well. Who knows, maybe visits to the eye doctor could soon become a thing of the past, once the Apple glasses debut. What do you think? Will Apple really be able to pull this off? Let us know down in the comments section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. In the meantime, let's keep going. There is also a rumor that the Apple glasses may actually project images directly into your eye rather than displaying them across a screen like other VR headsets. The reason? It would help keep the image always in focus and disregard the need for any transparent displays. It would also help with a variety of health issues that are brought upon by the usage of VR. Many virtual reality users complain of dizziness, headaches, and even nausea from prolonged exposure to the devices. Despite the screen being a mere inch away from their eyes, they continue to get sick. This is because your brain is trying to focus on so much around you that it becomes disorientated. Apple believes the cure for this issue, while still utilizing VR and AR technology, is direct retinal projection. One really cool feature that may come included with the Apple glasses is the ability to switch out the backgrounds around you. Similar to a Zoom call where participants may change their backgrounds to a variety of different settings, Apple Glasses use a chroma key technology to replace single color backgrounds with something else. It's fun little features like this that always ensure people get excited about Apple's next big thing. Have you always wanted to travel the world but couldn't afford it? 
Well, with the Apple Glasses, you can switch out your surroundings to different geographical locations across the globe. Similar to the Street View function on Google Maps, you can place yourself in the middle of different landmarks and get a full 360-degree view all from the comfort of your home. This is a great feature for all those who are travelers at heart but may not have the budget for it. No virtual reality system would be complete without the use of physical trackers. Although, Apples are a bit different. Gone are the days of clunky, laggy trackers. Instead, Apple has opted for a smoother, sleeker design with the Apple rings. Like the name suggests, these rumored trackers are simply two rings you'll slip onto your fingers that will help keep track of your hand movements. They can also detect what is in your hand, so if you're holding an Apple Pencil, they'll connect with that device and allow you to write in the air, with the words appearing on screen for you. Which one of these rumored features are your favorite? Tell us by commenting below. We cannot wait to see which one you all picked. Like we touched on previously in the video, the design for the Apple glasses will be fairly simple. They're modeled after Clark Kent's or Superman's glasses, which will be perfect to wear for everyday use. While there is a LiDAR scanner on the side, the glasses will not feature any other cameras as this could potentially cause security and privacy issues, especially if those around you are not aware that you could be filming them. There are no rumors about whether or not the Apple glasses will come in a tinted, sun-blocking variety at this time, so our guess is no. But this could always be a possibility in the future, as more generations of these glasses get produced and released to the public. There also may be swappable glasses arms available, with each arm designed to carry out a different function, although more information on that isn't available at this time. As far as the display specs go, you can expect the Apple glasses to use Sony OLED displays. You may also only be able to control your display screen through your iPhone, so when you swipe through your phone, the display screen on your Apple glasses will show that. The current battery life for these Apple glasses is rumored to be about three hours, which may be an issue for those who plan on wearing them as their everyday eyewear. However, there could possibly be a transportable charging option, similar to the AirPods, that would allow the user to charge their glasses throughout the day, especially if they're not in use. However, if Apple truly plans on taking over the eyewear market, these glasses will have to last for at least a whole workday which may be a goal they strive for in the future as they continue to work on and develop this product. So the big question remains, just how much will Apple be charging for these glasses? New Apple products are notorious for being pricey, and a product like this that has so many features is sure to break the bank. Well, you may be surprised to find out that the rumored price of the Apple glasses is only $499. For an Apple product, that's relatively cheap, especially when you compare it to similar products created by other brands. Take Microsoft's HoloLens 2, for example. The HoloLens 2 would cost someone $3,500 to purchase. That's over $3,000 for a pair of AR glasses. So why is Apple so much cheaper than their competitors? Well, you'd only be paying $499 for the product itself. Any recurring fees regarding prescriptions or other monthly costs haven't been factored in yet. But the main reason the Apple glasses are rumored to be so cheap is because they actually will require an iPhone to work. Your iPhone will take on a lot of the processing work for your Apple glasses, thus making it a necessity for owning a pair of the eyewear. Because of this, the Apple glasses won't require as many complex parts as your iPhone and will cost Apple a significantly lower amount of money to produce. Let's hope these rumors turn out to be true, because $499 for glasses that can not only help you see better, but give you full-time access to virtual and augmented reality is definitely a steal. Of course, these are all guesses and speculation, and we truly don't know how much will be included when the final product is released, if it ever truly is. However, if the idea of owning a pair of Apple glasses has piqued your interest, be sure to keep a lookout for the latest updates and news on the product. Perhaps even Apple themselves will confirm some of these rumors as time goes on. We sure hope so. Well, that's it for today's video. If you haven't heard of the Apple glasses yet, we hope you're now well educated on the topic. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more awesome content like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye!